tonight on Behind the Music, the polymorphic spree. Uh, the movie's never as good as the doodle essay. The spiraling shape will make you go insane. This film is about an idea. Plastics. An idea we call the polymorphic concept of data processing system design. Oh, PCD, PSD, Which sure. Which is a complicated name for an idea, we admit. But the idea itself isn't so complicated when you think of it in terms of how people get machines to help solve their problem. Oh, murder drones, cool. Now, if you have a problem to be computed, you take it to a computer. Does Hallmark need a cinematic universe? And as your problems get bigger, you need a bigger computer. And more crayons. As more and more guys like you have problems to solve, they take turns on the computer. Mom, he's hogging which it. Which isn't so bad if the computer is fast enough, which it can be if it is big enough and expensive enough. And plugged in enough. But as the number of guys and the number of problems increase, the machine gets huge. Yet it still can't play Crisis isn't 3. That a waste? Because while one guy is using the computer to solve an easy problem, which may only be taking one thousandth of the computer, everyone else has to wait. Why don't they just use their phones? Unless you spend still more money and buy a still bigger computer. To AC more! But worse, if one piece fails, the whole computer will probably quit. Even though most of it is perfectly good, ready and willing to work. Just draw an IT guy. What's wrong here? Well, here's your problem. It's made of paper. To start with, if you look inside, you see that it isn't just one solid hunk of computer, but a lot of individual parts and circuits which each have specialized functions. Go ahead and throw those away. Now it would be nice if someone would divide the huge computer into little parts on solder the connections so that everybody could get a chance to use the parts he needs for his particular problem. Which part makes minion memes? Next, you will want to organize things a little. Not in the usual way, where the brainy computer part not only supervises everything, but also insists on doing a large share of the detailed work. Yeah, he's a real power dork. What you want is more delegation, a more easygoing, cooperative relationship between all the parts so that they can associate freely and directly with one another and in various ways. Put your computer into stop motion square dance it's mode. A lot of fun. Actually, of course, the electronic boxes don't move. Hey, what a jip. You just make a nice, flexible, automatic switchboard connection like the telephone company does. Oh man, we're screwed. That way, the computer boxes, the real brains of the system, don't have to waste their time and talents acting like telephone operators trying to handle every single message person. Scrape them off, Claire. They can stick to computing and let the other boxes do the detail work, such as remembering large number of facts or sending messages from one box to another or carrying out simple logical routines. Like who's on first? And so each computer box doesn't have to be so big now. You just need 400 of them. This is distributed control, distributed memory, distributed arithmetics distributed everything. Distributed boredom. And it makes sense, because now more than one guy can be using the system at the same time to solve a number of easy problems. And when those occasional crash problems come along... Blue screen, baby! Your system can reconnect itself in a matter of microseconds to get the big, urgent jobs done, as well as an ordinary, giant computer could do them. With half the fat of the leading brand! And if one box quits, no great catastrophe. The system just automatically switches the job to another box. But if that one crashes, you're hosed. If you find yourself getting the busy signal too often, you buy more of exactly the kind of boxes you need. That's your solution to everything. That's like adding on new subscribers as they move in. Or you can add more displays so that more people can see what goes on. You just invented Pornhub. Suppose your problem calls for a lot of detailed work to do most of the time. It's a stretch, but okay. Can you buy boxes to give you all the memory or messenger service or whatever else you need? On the other hand, if your problems are mostly heavy-duty brain work, you can load your system up with computer boxes. Empty cardboard computer boxes. When you really need it and can prove you need it, you can put together a big system or even a really, really big one 
without over-investing early or throwing anything away or starting from scratch again. All right, how much is this going to set so me back? Money. And all the while, you have better reliability and multiple use and better access. To exclusive premium content. You can even switch together two complexes or three or four or twelve like a nationwide telephone system or you can connect in one of those ordinary giant computers as a subscriber if you go for super system hey man whatever you're into no judgment and this doesn't mean that you end up with one big party line you can keep some of the lines private by opening a few switches permanently so that certain information won't be available to nosy subscribers then we add a paywall and so now you see that it wasn't just exactly a computer you wanted. But 47 computers. But a group of guys with brains, and a group of boxes with electronic brains, and consoles, and displays. Force fields. All connected together in varying ways, and growing together so that the partnership can solve more problems per dollar than each group could solve by itself. Especially those cretins in R&D. <laughs> and this is all there is to the data processing concept known as polymorphic many shapes. Uh, I only see cubes. Or multiple mode. Or the matrix concept. What if I told you? Or maybe just the common sense switchboard idea in data processing systems. This doodle essay is going off the rails. Now it just so happens that Thompson Raymond Wildridge has been working on the polymorphic idea for several years. In a bunker under Mount Rushmore. And, in case you hadn't already guessed, it doesn't work. We have built the first actual polymorphic system. If you're interested, let us know. What? A crummy commercial? All right, gang, let me know if you want to see more films based on doodle essays or flannel graphs or color forms or fridge magnets or shrinky dinks or spirographs or mad libs or poetry magnets or fortune cookies. Thanks for watching. Did you know that Fun With Shorts is powered by its own Patreon campaign? It's true. For a small pledge, you can see every new video before the rest of the internet and get special patron-only riffs and other goodies. Part of this nutritious rumble. Pledge just a dollar or more and you'll get a free movie riff download as my thanks to you. I think he just baptized a gopher. Click the Patreon logo to check it out and I'll see you next time.